In today's episode, we're checking out two abandoned locations in Baltimore. First, we're exploring an abandoned theater that was later repurposed as a church. Then, we're heading over to a massive department store still full of vintage items. Our exploration here, however, would end up taking an unexpected turn. Recently, while passing through Baltimore, we met up with our friend Dan Bell, who always has a seemingly unlimited number of abandoned places in the city to show us. The first location we ended up filming was the Apollo Theater, which dates all the way back to the 1920s. The curtains hanging from the middle of the ceiling are cool. All tattered. Working electricity. Right now we're trying to determine if there's a basement that we could fall oh, into. The old, um, see the top there? The molding? That molding up there is like the top of the screen it would have been. Oh yeah. No wonder it's so dark. I'm wearing my sunglasses. <laughs> I'm like, what is going on? I've done that one before. Hey, what? This was a church. Um, it is lighter used. Yeah, I know. I think that we will bless his name forever. Yeah. It's like the life cycle of an abandoned place. After its original purpose, it becomes a church, and then it's abandoned. It happens a lot. As you might have just heard, Dan was not in the mood for such a grimy place, so we continued on without him. We're also joined today by another explorer, Jaden, who runs the channel Nation Decay. Holy shit. There's water coming in everywhere. Where'd you see 2017? This had to have been fairly... Like, yeah, but the way that theater room looked, that's interesting. I guess a lot of water just got yeah, in. Yeah, once the water gets in. Snow maybe collapsed the part of the roof or something, I don't know. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, where they do the lighting and stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at the view from in here. The theater. It's like a really cool warm light. But they're really modern light bulbs too. They have the CFL kinds. Pretty tight up here. Nothing grand. Goes up more. You want to check out this level first? Yes. Yeah. Okay. 
Look at this office. Oh, that's a really poofy carpet. Pastor and Edwards. Look at the way the this is a cool photo spot. The wooden siding is warping out. It's crazy. 1999 is the calendar here. Does this one turn on? Um, I tried to load the switch, it doesn't work. Uh, yeah. This is the upper level mezzanine. This is probably gonna be sketchy up here. It's yeah. all concrete. The projection windows are boarded off over there. That doesn't mean there could be something in there. You wanna go up? Cobwebs everywhere. There's nothing in here. No, there's no projectors left. Is that where they would have been? Yeah. They were literally just using like fold out patio chairs here. Well, look down there. There was drop ceiling up to the end of the balcony. So they closed this area down way before they did the rest of it. Oh. I didn't even notice that. Right where the wall changes, there used to be a drop ceiling there. So this entire old ceiling would have been sealed off from the rest of the place and just rotting away. Next up was an abandoned department store that Dan recommended we check out. I know everyone loves to see us exploring with Dan, but unfortunately we'd be checking this one out without him, as he had other business to take care of. There's already Christmas decorations. We just Every walked building, in. Everyone. Yep. You want to go all the way up to start and then work our way down? Okay. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to just start on a random floor in the middle. Whoa, what is this? I'm just gonna walk by this? There's like little bags down here. There's stuff to go into. This thing would spin. It says something National Bank. Maybe like a coin machine? Oh. Everything's hooked up to a chain. Is there like a crank? Yeah, there's a wheel over here. Doesn't spin though. I bet it was some kind of money sorter or something. Probably because you gotta think how much money this place would have. Yeah. Upwards we go. This building dates back to 1929 and originally opened as a department store called Gutman's. Eventually, it was bought by a discount store company known as Epstein's, and they operated here until 1991. Pigeon. Bird or an animal or something? Look on top of the pigeons. Is it pigeons? Yeah, they're gonna go crazy if you <laughs> Oh yeah, I they're see them. on top of the duct. Quality cosmetics for less. 
Here's the elevators. Check it out, the elevators had glass doors. So you'd be able to see your car arriving. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Do these still slide? No. Abandoned elevator shafts are some of the creepiest things there is. This is the old style of fire door where it was on a sloped rail and gravity would shut it. There's a trash compactor back here. That's where all the glass and the light fixtures went. It's been smashed. There's some clothing racks over here. Do they have a way out over here? Nope. You might be freaking them out by cornering them. We are. You gotta love that toothpaste green paint color. Oh, there's an elevator car right here. Yeah, it's the whole car. All the way up here. Somebody well, ripped this out. Not get in there. Uh, get in there and start jumping up and just down. Open the door, but I don't know. Did these used to just slide? Yeah, they're jammed big time though. Because I'm sure they had a lock on it for when. The elevator cars are not even cool looking. Like, they're definitely not original. No. Was this like... Oh, but above the drop ceiling, you could actually see a bit of an ornate design. So they just added the drop ceiling yeah. in the elevator car. And probably oh, new wall paneling it. also. Oh, yeah. They might have also replaced manual elevators with the automatic electric elevators at one point, too. This one's here, too. You can see the little bit more of that metal. Ornate. Oh, yeah. It's misaligned. Something tells me that penalty would be a little bit more in today's dollars. More. The glass is still intact on these lights. Wow. That's a green room in there. Holy cow. Did you guys notice how not straight this wall is? Oh. Holy shit. It goes from like this. I to think it's just this. Yeah. It's a curvy it's wall. It's not like a load bearing wall. Though. No, but it's yeah. curvy. <laughs> you can hear it. it's bright and yellow. Everything's like birthday cake colors. The way the paint is cracking here, it's really cool. Bunch of desks stacked up in here. Church bells, car alarms, and people screaming. 
the sounds of Baltimore. Did you see this fluorescent light fixture up here? They're all like that. Yeah, that's cool. It's not super ornate, but you know, they don't even try to make things ornate in this day and age. Exactly. There's some interesting colors. Yeah, so it's like what would have been underneath the buttons. These doors are probably maintenance elevators. There were eight are, elevators total. Yeah, or maybe these were just replaced later on. Yeah, that could be. But no, those are good. Oh yeah. shit, my foot just did that. Some of that. I felt something under my foot. And I thought it was just an object or something. But Yeah, the floor is a little crunchy in some yeah. parts. Is there concrete underneath of it or is it all wood? No, it's like two layers of wood though. So yeah, but the, we're only punching through the top the layer. The top layer of the laminate is like bulging sometimes and then you get the wood yeah. and the wood crunches. Here's another display. Oh yeah. These stairs are just covered in pigeon crap. Just like mounds of it by your feet. Those look like laundry baskets. Oh, there's where some of the missing light fixtures went. Look at the one right there with the paint on it. Yeah. These were all clothing racks over here. All these old product stands. Just the fonts are so cool. Some old handwriting right here. Skirts, sweaters, blouses. Here's all the lights from the cash registers. This machine here would probably, probably be price tags. This would go through here. You set the number you want. And it'll punch it in. A Kmart ad from 
What'd you find? I think these are old cash registers. Oh shit. They are. Wow. Okay, this might be the coolest thing we found in here yet. Look at the one all the way at the end. Yeah. What is this? Cash registers. Oh. Yeah. I know these are obviously not cash registers. I don't know why we kept saying that. They're just mechanical calculators, which is still pretty cool. They're just in rows. You'd have to enter in each row manually. It's like one, four, six, four, etc. And you like know when you press people, another one in a row, the other one pops up. The people who worked here were like punching that shit yeah, crazy. Yeah. Look, if you punch one in the same row, the other one pops up. The people who work here are like... Oh, I'm sure they have like... Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. All over the place. Yeah. Think it'll still punch? <laughs> Another punch card? I don't know. Okay, so this floor I think is the first real department store floor. The rest have been offices and storage. Yeah, the floors. The actual right sales down. floors were gutted. Yeah, it would have been cool if these were still intact. Okay. Can you oh, see shit. all the way through? You can see this, below. It might just be like this concrete No, here. you see the floor below. I guess that's why they didn't rip this part out. Holy cow. Domestics. Oh, you know why this part is concrete and then it's wood here? The escalators? Because this is where the tower continues up. You're right. See, above us here is just a roof. Oh. But then right there is where the tower is. Where's the other escalator? <laughs> this would be the top floor of the sales floor. Yeah, but you'd still need to be able to go back down if you came up. No. And vice versa. You only go You're stuck up. here. <laughs> it's really strange. I guess you'd either be expected to use the stairs or the elevator if you came up here using this. Check that out into the dark and creepy doorway. This is a big storage area. But there's something down here. Look at the floor buckling. That's a hole too. 
that is. It smells like an old log cabin in here. All the wood. Look at this cash register. That is nuts. Wow. I've never seen one like that in person. This is amazing. I'm glad we came in here. We almost missed this. Holy shit, look in here. Oh my god, there's <laughs> more of them. Look at this wooden one. It's wood. Holy shit. This is the coolest thing in here so far. Wooden cash registers. And the money drawers. Is it real wood? It's a veneer or something. Play. Yeah. Look, receipt paper. Looks like toilet paper at a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. These are all jammed. I just don't want to push buttons. On. This one had more buttons. Oh, this is the one. This whole back area is filled with them. These are, they're all from different generations. This is amazing. Oh, that's so satisfying. Look at this. Nice. Oh my God, holy shit. Oh, these ones are in worse shape though because this area is falling Hold apart. Here too. Yeah. Bulletins. This entire room is filled with them. I like the wooden ones. They stand out. They look like slot machines or something. They kind of do. <laughs> There's money trees. Is there any money? No. I don't see money though. Even if you found a dollar bill in here, it would be super cool because it would be extremely old. There's got to be at least like 50 of them back yeah. here in total. What is that, a window? Um, or is it a now. wall? Yeah, it's, it's a window, it's, yeah. It is now, it's a hole though. Yeah. That's insulation. When you can see one abandoned building out the window of another. Six eighty two. They're all numbered. Probably had around a hundred of these. There's ninety seven over there. They're literally just everywhere. Oh, this one's numbered two hundred and eight. So they had at least two hundred of them. I want to find some vintage money. One of these have yeah, there's probably at least one old bill somewhere in here, but probably pretty hard to find. I don't know. I feel like they would have went through. Yeah, but you know, sometimes stuff gets missed. Is there more back in that room? Oh yeah, there's the literally back. everywhere. Oh my god, they must have just stored these. Yeah, the old Bank of America part. Oh, there's a stairwell here. Yeah. Wait, where is the stairwell? Is this like a different stairwell? Look at it up there, it's collapsing. Yeah. I got this, I wonder if this hallway is the bathroom. 
That sounds like it's in the fucking light. It's right outside. You see it? It's right outside. Is it in the building? It sure sounded like someone was in that stairwell. Um, so I have a problem. What? My group got knocked off somewhere. Oh shit! It's in the building! What? The dog. Oh, it's not. Yes, it is. He looks, he's wearing a collar. It is? Yeah. Is it somebody looking for It's a dog, it's a dog. No, he looks, he's wearing a collar and he looks friendly. Hello? Don't be scared of him. How is the dog looking Could be some homeless guy's dog. Oh. He's right behind this little box. He's just sitting there? Yeah, he's sitting behind this box. He's literally right behind there. I see him. So I lost my grip. I can't believe there's a fucking dog in here. Oh, he's gone. Mind his own business. Yeah, there he is. Hello. Oh, he does look friendly. Yeah. Hello, good boy. I just want to know who's in here that let him in. That's what I want to know, too. Here, talking. Hello? So weird. That was... I just don't wonder if it's somebody that owns the building that's... No, you would not let your dog run loose in a building like this if you were like... I thought maybe it was like a, secu- like a, a normal, responsible person. Like a... It could just be like a dog got out. How would he get in the building, though? There's no way in. Somebody opened the doors. You could hear it. Unless he nudged it open, I but I highly doubt that. No. But we haven't... We started at the top, and we're working our way down. And we just heard barking all of a sudden, and we thought it was coming from outside. At this point, I decided to give Dan a call, since he had been in the building just a few nights earlier, and didn't mention anything about a dog being inside. At first, I thought this could have been a guard dog situation. And Dan just didn't tell us about it because he knew the harmless pup would get a good scare out of us. After getting him on the line, however, he was shocked to hear about the dog. We then developed a few theories as to what the dog was doing in there, eventually settling on the idea that it was either abandoned or just being irresponsibly stored. You think someone abandoned him? Hmm. We'll probably just keep exploring, but we'll stay close together. So we think that dog might have been abandoned in here, so once we're done exploring, we're probably going to figure out somebody to call and see if they can get that dog out of here. Because I really think he was just abandoned in here. Like, these are dog prints, and I'm wondering if um, maybe they're dumping their dog in here regularly, or if it's somebody that lives in here. Yeah, I think it's probably someone who lives in the area, and they just fucking dump their dog in here for the day. That's really sad. It was probably going over here to drink out of this fucking water. Yeah. Oh, that is so sad. He looked like a good boy. The doors were red on this floor. Oh, yeah. You know what? That other stairwell where the dog was well, goes down somewhere well, over there. Oh shit, does it? Yeah. No, I thought we were over there. No, no. it was this corner for sure. Fuck, do you want to go back over there and um, if we stick together? Because that looks like it could be like an interesting. Is there no other pass through to get over oh, there? That could be another entrance. It's stairs. like a separate building over there, actually. Right there, stairs. Push Stair right B. Open. That's where this dog came up, right? Yeah. It might be. No, it was one farther back. Yeah, no, this is the stairwell we originally came up in. Yeah. There's no yeah, pass no, through. That doesn't make any sense. That it's, stairwell that's there's another, it's another building. Back. There must be another building over there. Wait, do you want to go? What if we were in a different building? Yeah, like, I think that's a different building. Hold on. That's so weird. What, what is that sort of place? Could I have been. Go over there and check that out. Yeah, we should. Do you want to do that right now? Yeah, let's do that. Okay.
So we have to go back to where we just encountered the dog. That means there's another entrance to this place. Yeah. Be careful for Clopper. His behavior did not seem aggressive. He seems scared though, you're right. Yeah, he seemed like a little scared, a little excited. Just unsure. Maybe we just shouldn't. Does that sound aggressive? No. Park. Once he came up here, let's just explore the rest of the place. We can ask Dan if it there's anything like worth so seeing down here after here. we can come back. I wonder if that smells like dog shit. Yeah, it does. It reeks. We could try calling the dog. He's coming up. No, don't call him. Here he comes. Is he being a good boy? Hey, puppy. He's wagging his tail. Come on. <laughs> You want some pets? Hello. Hey. Oh, he's scared now. Oh no. He's, he's shaking. Let's just leave. He's shaking. Don't don't just go after him. No no no. He's no, shaking. they can get a. Oh look how thin he is. Oh, no. He's shaking now. Oh no, he's he's abandoned here for sure. Yeah. Hey. He's so fucking scared. He was probably abused. No, he, well, he's scared. He's scared. No no no. Give him his space. Yeah. Because once they get scared, they can act unpredictably. Uh, Did you see how thin he was? They can like lash out. That dog was so thin. Yeah, yeah. we got to do something about that once we're done. done. I just wanted to interject here to say a few things since once again we were saying some nonsensical stuff. First off, we've since looked up what a pit bull at a healthy weight looks like and this guy was maybe a little underweight but definitely nowhere near emaciated. We didn't know this at the time though. Secondly, we don't actually think the dog was abused just because he was acting a little scared. I think that was a perfectly normal way for a dog to behave towards three strangers. We were all just a little anxious in the moment and didn't want to take any chances with trying to get closer. Oh, that's He's fucking sad. He came up through like a little crack. I'm, yeah. But somebody clearly had to open that door, I think. Maybe, maybe we just disturbed him. He could have been in here for a little while. He was probably in here for a while, yeah. These footprints everywhere and... Around this time, Dan had arrived to see the situation for himself, so we headed out to meet him. We found the dog down here. Looks like he must belong to a homeless person, but I don't know, not 911, call yeah, animal that, control. Or something. You can't, that, it's all the same. Really? Yeah, there's all clothes in there. It's probably a homeless person, but like, you can't have a dog just running around in this building full of shit. Poor guy. Yeah, the dog, even if it, there is someone who comes here and like feeds him, like the guy who all this, these clothes are for the homeless guy, you can't have this dog drinking this disgusting water in here. It's moldy like, and asbestos. Yeah. And he has no way to get out. And um, I don't even know how he got in there to get um, he's definitely, if you don't send somebody out, he's not going to die. Yeah, he'll probably die. But he's finally... He's... Okay, should we just wait here? Okay, thank you, ma'am. Alright, thank you, bye-bye. I bought these because I needed... Oh, look at him shaking. Oh no! There you go. I know! Wait, Jason? Huh? Your hand's smaller than mine. Um, try to um, undo that. You just undo it and I'll open that. No, no, no. He's oh, already shut. <laughs> I got water for you. So you gotta come down. I know! I know! Yeah. Oh, there's a lock. Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? There's a fucking lock. So, how the fuck did anyone get their fucking dog in here? 
Well, it's obviously locked by the guy who did this. Yeah. Look at him. So where is the fucker at? What? And why does he have a dog like this living in squalor? I mean, the dog looks healthy. To be honest with you, yeah, he's not. He's, he's not emaciated in this way. All right, let's. I don't know how this would work. He's got to be dying of thirst. Oh, would you pipe it? There's another one of those bottles. After feeding the dog, we went on our way, not sure as to what was going to happen. A few hours later, we got a call back from animal control, letting us know that they were on the scene and that there were actually three dogs inside the building. Since we were nearby, we hopped in the car to go see the dogs being taken out for ourselves. But when we arrived, a scene was already unfolding. Oh, oh yeah, it is. Who's this? Oh, this is... Is that animal control? My yeah, it is. Look at the van. Did they cut this thing open? They're taking pictures. Oh, that's the guy, I think. Is it? No, it's not. They... The thing's shut. Yeah. That is animal control. Yeah. Oh, hey, do you want to, are you going to talk? There's a the police. Hi. I'm the one that called about the dogs. Yes, I'm the owner of those dogs. Oh, you're the I owner? Have to do. Yes, indeed. My name is Mr. Hawk. Okay. Okay, what's your concern? Those dogs out here every day, fed and everything. That is my Daisy. That's uh, goes here, and that's uh, what's they? They've been in that building for two and a half years. I mean, you don't, see, I don't I was, know why. I was giving you an idea. Was what? Because the last person said something about the dog, try to break an ass steal. The white guy lived around here. Now I can tell you what's going on. People try to come in this building and steal property. That's the dog. And the dog was. I came in my building. I've been a vendor in this corner for 24 years. Everybody knows my dog now. When I see people do that, come down here. The dog, this dog, that. That's because the one's dog. Now, if it's going to be like that, no, these dogs got pet going. But if it's going to be like that, I'll make some disturbed. I come out my house tonight. I'm sick. I have the flu. Uh -huh. You see them dogs out there in that field every day. Well, I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying that. Okay, I'm just well, saying we, we have concern because, because the buildings are abandoned. No, these just... buildings are not abandoned. That is my storage bin right there. At your storage? Yes, man? indeed. I've been here 24 years. I sell clothes in this corner every day. That's Daisy's about. I sell clothes in this corner every day. You see me right out here selling Oreo stuff, Raven stuff, and everything. That's me, Mr. Hawk. The people buy it with the like dog piss and shit on it? I mean, oh, it's so you gotta be smart, huh? No, I'm just saying. Why would you say something like that? No, I'm just saying. It's crazy what you just said. People said people are buying it. Do people look at you to see how fat you is, though? No, well, buddy, you got a lot of room buddy, to talk. Buddy, ain't you, buddy? Yes, what? Good night. It's a little dilapidated to keep some animals in, dumbass. <laughs>